Throughout human history, there have been individuals who have risen up and through their actions, managed to change the course of the world, such as Alexander the Great or Napoleon. Usually, these figures are viewed as heroes. However, the person we will be discussing today differs because he is often given a bad reputation as he is viewed as a backstabber, a snake, and an evil puppet master. That man is Flavius Ricimer, the man many credit for causing the fall of the Western Roman Empire. Today, we will be answering who exactly was Flavius Ricimer, whether he was really a villain who was trying to destroy Rome and subvert it from the inside, or a man facing extremely tricky circumstances who was just trying to survive and prosper in a difficult time. Welcome to the Diadokoi YouTube channel, where we will be diving in to the first part of our series covering the life of Flavius Ricimer. Ricimer was born within the Western Roman Empire around 418 AD to a Swabi father and a Visigothic mother, making him fully Germanic. In order to make a name for himself, in addition to obtaining wealth and power, Ricimer would join the Western Roman army beginning his service career by serving under the brilliant and legendary Magister Militum Flavius Aetius. While in the service of Aetius, Ricimer would meet a Comes Domescatorum by the name of Majorian, who Ricimer would quickly befriend. Unfortunately for Ricimer, he was gaining power at a time of great uncertainty and civil strife, as in the year 454, his commander, Flavius Aetius, would be killed by Emperor Valentinian III. Little did Valentinian know the can of worms he had just unleashed upon Rome, as this event would end up benefiting Ricimer immensely. Following the murder of Aetius, Valentinian would be killed by mercenaries who were loyal to the late commander wishing to avenge him. Taking advantage of the lack of an emperor, a senator by the name of Petronius Maximus would proclaim himself as the new ruler of the West, and quickly married the widow of Valentinian in hopes of securing his hold onto the throne. This would not succeed, however, as the Eastern Court in Constantinople refused to recognize his claim. Petronius's reign would not be long as after two months, he was killed by an angry mob after trying to flee the city of Rome upon hearing the news that the Vandals were approaching the city. Three days after his death, on the 2nd of June, 455, the city of Rome would be brutally sacked by the Vandals. The sack of Rome taught yet another brutal lesson to the Roman people, that the state was unable to protect its most valuable domains. As the western throne was once again vacant, the Visigothic king, Theodoric II, seeing an opportunity, promptly placed a Romano-Gaelic military commander and aristocrat by the name of Avitus as the emperor. In return for this favor, Avitus gave the Visigoths permission to enter Hispania to fight the Swabians who had settled there, and promoted a Visigoth named Remistus to Magister Militum. Reluctantly, both Ricimer and Majorian pledged their support to Avitus, who responded by promoting Ricimer to the rank of Comes and allowing him to raise both an army and a navy to combat the Vandals who were in Sicily, Sardinia, and Corsica. Ricimer began his campaign by making his way down to Sicily, with an army of primarily auxiliary and fuerati troops. Ricimer would meet the Vandals near Agrigentum in the year 456. The Vandal forces sought to shock Ricimer and led a massive assault on the Roman troops, forcing them into a defensive position. 
The Vandals would push the Romans towards a lightly forested area on the battlefield, and the Romans hunkered down, forming defensive shield walls, seeking to bear the brunt of the Vandal onslaught. The fighting was gruesome, and the Vandals tried relentlessly to break through the Roman lines. However, the Romans stood firm, using their shield wall to protect them from Vandal missile fire. All the while, Grissomer was rallying his men, inspiring them to hold the line. After a long and hard-fought battle, Grissomer and his troops would manage to push the Vandals back, putting the Romans on the offensive, prompting the Vandal commander to call a retreat. The Vandal army broke, and fled to their ships with Rissimer in hot pursuit. The two fleets would meet up near Corsica, and Rissimer and his fleet would obliterate the Vandal fleet of 60 ships. In the aftermath of the battles of Agrigentum and Corsica, Rissimer would return to Italy a hero who had taken revenge against the Vandals for their sacking of Rome the prior year. Due to his victories, Avatis decided to promote Rissimer yet again, giving him the position of Magister Militum Praesentalis, which gave him command of the troops in Italy and made Rissimer the second most powerful general in all of the Western Roman Empire. Thank you for watching our video on the rise of Flavius Rissimer. Join us next time to see what Rissimer would do with his newfound power. Leave a like and subscribe if you would like to see more. We ask that you check out our Discord and our Twitter page and give us a follow for upcoming content. We would like to thank our patrons, 2100AB, SamwiseGamG, and Gary Myers for continuing to support the channel. If you have a video that you would like us to cover, you can donate to our Patreon in the link in the description below and request a video topic. Once again, we thank you, and we hope to see you next time.